You give your life away, so others will live. And take life where only God can give it. Halo Nightfall is an action drama. It's a story about heroes and the good and the bad side of heroism. This film represents an origin story of sorts, not only introducing the character, but he goes through some profound transitions over the course of our story. We will not go out like this. Locke, first and foremost, is a leader. He's a guy who can think on his feet, who's always one step ahead of the adversary. When we first encounter Locke, he's the leader of ONI, which is a CIA, KGB type of organization. We're pretty much as an elite force as you can find. They kind of think they're better than everyone else. ONI work better alone. I'm expected to lead this group and point them in the right direction and to get the task done. It starts on one planet, which is quite bucolic and friendly, and ends up on another location that's infinitely more hostile. Ready to go to hell, Colonel? They are undertaking what seems to be a fairly routine investigative operation, and they quickly come to discover that there's something far more alarming and far more dangerous. They've all got to make these massive, life-changing decisions and put their lives on the line, so it's quite emotionally intense. Mike Coulter, who plays Locke, has an especially entrenched role in the Halo universe because he's going to be a character that appears in Halo 5 Guardians, but his journey and his transformation really start here. That digs into the kind of soldier he is when we first encounter him and then the kind of soldier that he ultimately evolves into being. It also allows us to explore the Halo environment in a much more sort of primal way in the sense that these characters are literally coming to life. That's been a thrill for us because we've been carefully working on his character arc as a bridge between the game and the motion picture world effectively. My question to you, Commander Locke, how will you lead and for what?